I'm Ringer, and this is my prospecting journal. Come on, let's go prospecting. Welcome to Ringer's Prospecting Journal. Today I'm with Prospector Phil from Freedom Prospecting. He drug me out to a remote location out in the middle of nowhere to take a look at this creek that we're going to be working today. Him and his buddy Al were out here late last fall and found some decent gold in a couple of five gallon buckets of material. But most of the ground was frozen at the time and they weren't able to do much as far as processing the material. So he br brought me back out here today and we'll see uh, what we can get. Now, if you'll notice, I do not have my sluice box all the way in the water and set up yet. The reason for that is I'm gonna run a test. I plan on taking the sluice box up to the shores of Lake Superior. And you know, on the Wisconsin side, we're not allowed to use any type of recirculating system or battery operated pumps or anything like that. So I wanna test it just to see how well it would work if I were to hand scoop the water uh, through the sluice to process the material. So I got this high tech gizmo here for scooping the water. It's very expensive, I think it was uh, Grand told cost me about, oh, with the coffee and everything else so when I bought it, maybe $10 to make. So uh, we'll see how well this works. It got a bucket of classified material and a bunch of water we able to scoop and run it through the system. Now, this is not exactly set up properly. So it's uh, moving that out just a little bit. And run some material through there. Now doing it this way, you're always going to have some air bubbles trapped in your mat, unfortunately. It looks like I got to drop the other side just a little bit. Even up the water flow just a tad. Now, with all the weather we've been having recently, this creek is kind of elevated as far as depth in the water. I mean, it's almost over the top of my water boots here, so I got a feeling I'm going to have wet feet by the time we get done. All right, so I got it set up. Water flow seems to be halfway uh, level going across there, so we'll put a scoop of material. I got some classified material already set here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Keep that on there. And an interesting test. So we'll uh, run some more of this stuff and uh, see what we get, if anything.
I understand this isn't the proper way to operate a sluice box. You want to have try to have a continuous full water going over the top of it so the gold stays buried behind the ripples in the mat that captures it. So we do even halfway decent on there with the uh, thick black sands of Lake Superior. I think we might be pretty decent. Once you get a nice full water in there, though, you can really see the material dancing around nicely. Just that don't have the continuous flow. And I got this board here, so when I scoop, I can actually rest it against my arm, take some of the weight off, and help control it better. It's actually working pretty decent. Yeah, it looks good. Got a scoop on there. Front load it. All right, so we'll run the rest of this bucket, and then uh, see how well it works. Not sure if we're going to get any gold or not, but uh, again, this was just a test to see how well the material flows through it. It looks like it's working pretty decently, almost like a rocker box without the shaking. Well, I ran the bucket of material through, hand scooped the water through the sluice. Caught a few micro specks of uh, gold, so it will catch gold doing it that way. We'll take it up to Lake Superior along the beach in Wisconsin there and, and see how well it does with uh, Lake Superior gold, if you can find any up there. Currently have the sluice box actually set up for normal running now. Got a yeah, about half a bucket classified out. We'll run it through, test it out, and uh, see how well that's actually flowing. Seems to be working rather well. Uh, this mat is designed for slower to moderate uh, water speed or water flow. Uh, it's not made for high volume water with uh, high speed and stuff. So I think we got it set up pretty decent right now. So we'll run this bucket and see what happens. So I am classifying this material down to a quarter inch. Seems like a good classification for Wisconsin gold since it's so small.
this is get <coughs> excuse me just gave you a better idea of the creek that we're working you notice that the creek's got a lot of s turns in it each one of those inside bends the possibility of a gold dropping out comes back around Imagine that. See too good, but that's uh, a good cobble base in the bottom of this creek. And we've got another S turn here. And it goes down to where we are set up at another S turn. I'm just on the other side of my chair. Behind my bucket there and where Phil is sitting, it's a nice little uh, rock deposit or gravel deposit right along the inside bed where he's uh, running the sluice. So we're digging up that uh, gravel bar there, roughly in the center of the, the creek right now. And uh, we'll see what we get when we get done. But as you can see, there's S turns galore all the way back through and into the woods. Got all these nice steep hills surrounding the creek, so all the runoff and stuff comes down these hills and into the water. So, I said, we'll see what we can get. So I just pan my concentrates down real quick in my 10 inch uh, black pan and uh, I'll finish cleaning this up here then I'll bring you back. the best clean out that I've ever had I see uh, one decent size piece there in the center Let's see if I can get that to focus in a little bit a couple other small ones uh, there's some 
really, really tiny micro, smaller than micro dot pieces in here. And I did, did have some uh, slide back down into here. Uh, not the best cleanup I've ever did, but did, didn't get skunked, so, so far so good. Well, there you have it, folks. Had an amazing day out there on the creek with Prospector Phil. It was uh, one of the first times I was able to get out this year uh, due to work commitments and uh, Mother Nature being off her medication. Didn't uh, find a lot of gold out there today, but we didn't get skunked either, so that's always a bonus. Had fun getting out there. Uh, please check out Prospector Phil's channel, Freedom Prospecting. I'm sure he would appreciate it. And remember, folks, please hit like, subscribe, and share. Click on the bell icon to receive further notifications for this channel. Coming up, the next couple weeks, I'll be taking a trip up to Lake Superior on the Wisconsin side. Uh, no recirculating systems, no gas-powered or battery-operated pumps allowed. So we will either be uh, doing a force feed of water through a sluice box like I uh, tested out today or I'll be taking uh, my uh, rocket box out onto the beach and uh, see what we can get. Till then, God bless.